Hey, lovely people. Welcome to another episode of Living with Purpose. I'm your host, Queen. And if you're new to my channel, I film about faith, food, and public health. And also don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so that you do not miss out on the next episode of Living with Purpose. Today, I'm so excited because we have an amazing guest. Her name is Shay E. And I'm going to read a little bit about her. Shay E is a wife and mother of two, as well as being an investor and running a number of businesses. She is also a qualified solicitor and business coach, and her passion lies in helping women strive for and achieve their goals. Welcome, Shay E. How are you? Thank you. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Seriously, it's such an honor to have to do this with you. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm glad to have you. So I'm going to start off with the first question. When did you know you would be a business coach? Oh, loaded question. Um, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's weird because um, I've always sort of done what it is that I'm doing now, but I never realized what I was doing until probably the start of this year that I really realized that there was a title for what I was doing. So um, it's something that I guess I've always kind of done, but it wasn't basically until the start of this year that I formally like, oh, that's the title that I'm trying to actually, you know, work towards being a business coach. So I would say probably the start of this year then. Hmm. And so did you, did you have like an aha moment or like, okay. Definitely did. Um, I think it was when I was speaking to one of my friends, one of my, my friends, she's like, my avid supporter she's like my number one fan apart from my husband she's like my go-to she's my pretty she's pretty much like my hype man and she's like you know what you're doing it's similar to what like business coaches so I was like what's a business coach and that, that was literally like my aha moment like wait a minute I can actually you know do something that I love and have you know make income from it at the same time so that was definitely for me my aha moment awesome and so so how did this whole journey begin? Oh, where did we get started? Which, which journey? I mean, it's, it's, it's been a few. So I guess starting with your business coach journey, like how did you like begin that journey? So that started, well, that started years ago, actually, when I started my first business um, and it was in events management years ago, um, did that for about three years or so. Mm. And just pretty much from there started, mm. you know, more businesses after that. And I think from then on, it's about, it was about speaking to other women about, you know, they wanted to start something, they didn't quite know what to do or how to do it. So that kind of, you know, started the seed, as you would say, um, to speaking to other people about sort of my experiences and teaching them, I guess, as you would say, my methods on how I started my business, using the different, you know, things that and, and different ways that I've learned, you know, through my journey to help them with their journey. So yeah, that's kind of like how it started, kind of with me. You know, I don't teach something that I don't, you know, I haven't done myself. Um, but yeah, so it kind of just started with me and it kind of just grew from there, really. Wow. And so as you were beginning this journey, like, did you have any resisting moments where you're just like, I don't know if I can do this? And how did you overcome that? Yay. Every day. <laughs> and it, it still happens. I want to be like, wow. it still happens. Because when you're on the social sort of media platform and space, you know, you get, you know, you're bombarded with so many different things, you know, the perfect life, the perfect this. And you're thinking, you know, you get that comparison syndrome kind of like kicking in. So yeah, definitely face some challenges. And I think my main challenge at that point was myself, because when I go back to my history, now I, I was born in Nigeria, so I wasn't born in the UK. I was born in Nigeria, born and raised there. Um, I speak my own language, Yoruba. So I only came to the UK when I was 12. And, you know, I came from that mentality where all you needed to do was study. Like there was no start your own business. You know, like that was completely like a foreign thought. So the challenge for me was me getting over that limiting belief of myself that I could do it, that I could actually, you know, start a business. I don't have to go to school and study. And, you know, that's the end of it in terms of my income. Like I could actually go beyond that and actually earn money from something that I want to do. I, I you know, just does that like, you know, it's, it's weird. Like, as you talk to people about it, they're like, really, that was your most challenge? Like, yeah, it is. Because when mm. you grow up with what you're you know, exposed to, that's what kind of seeds like 
doubts and and you know limiting beliefs and it kind of sets into you from when you were young and it, it's a lot of work when you grow up trying to overcome all of that you know I'm still working on it you know I'm not perfect you know progression over perfection it's still a work yes. in progress but at least I'm, I'm a lot further along than I, I was back then <laughs> yeah wow I, yeah I can imagine because it's we always were taught like this, you know, become a lawyer, a doctor, what have you, school, school, school. But it's like, what about, you know, starting a business? Yeah. And you it's know? so important. It's so important. And that's one of the main reasons why I love teaching other women about this, because it's helping me as well. Because the more you teach, and I find this very interesting, the more you teach people, the more you learn even more. And I'm trying to lay a foundation for my kids. You know, not mm. saying that I wasn't raised, you know, I thank God for my parents' lives. I thank God for the way I was raised. You know, nobody else can go through the experiences that I did. But I realized that there's so much more and I want that for my kids. But for me to teach them that, I kind of need to experience you. I kind of need to be open to it. So it's, you know, it's all a part of a, big, a bigger journey. Definitely. And so what made you interested in helping women in particular? Because I see that's your focus. Yeah. I mean, it's for me, like I said, from what I said before, I can only do what... I know how to do and knowing you know I've been married to my husband for about eight years we've been together about 14 years and I know for a fact men think completely different <laughs> from women so I know what I know because I am a woman so my triggers you know the, the, the struggles that we face I know them so I can only speak to other women that I can pick up on their triggers and pick up on their pain points and pick up on the mm. things that I know or I feel that can help them Men are a completely different ball game. <laughs> ball game. I leave my husband. I leave my husband to do with that one. But yeah, I, I deal with women because that's you know that's who I feel more comfortable with. That's who I feel more led to help as well. And it's who I, I connect with more essentially. That makes sense. It's it's true. And um, so can you tell us a little bit about your first experience with working with your first client? Oh gosh, yeah. I mean, that was mind blowing because I had to work through a lot of limiting beliefs um, when I got her. And it was actually the way I got her was through Instagram, actually. It was, I mean, you never think that, oh, Instagram is just like, you know, a quick thing. You put your pictures up, people like it, people share, and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. But you can actually sell through Instagram. You can, you know, build that no like trust factor through Instagram. So when I got her through Instagram, I was like, what? really she wants to work with me like I've worked with beta clients so basically I've worked with clients for free um I've given them tips pointers so I've used that to build my credibility and build my experience but when I was like someone wants to pay me for my experience really and again it's going back on that limiting belief that I had about myself like can I actually really do this so it was it was it was amazing it, um, I thank God for her life because she definitely taught me more about myself and taught me about you know why I do what I do because I helped her achieve her goals and that was something I was so terrified of like can I actually help somebody pay me to actually mm. help their goals and I did and it was amazing and it was like God telling me Shay you can do this you know this is what I've led you to, to help other women do you know it might not necessarily be my purpose in life and things but it helps me walk in that purpose which is to help others at the moment those others tend to be women um God willing that's going to change in the future you never know but you know I, I thank God for that so yeah it was it was amazing scary <laughs> but, but amazing wow so with that, how did you get comfortable with coaching? Like, how? It's, it's weird because it's, I have to work on myself daily because people think automatically when you're on social media or you're, you know, you're giving speeches or presentations, you know exactly what you're doing. And actually, no, you've got to work on yourself daily as well. So I work on myself. I wake up in the morning. I pray to God. You know, I do my affirmations and I really sit down and think, OK, what is it that I want to try and achieve today? What is that I'm trying to help people with today? And the way mm. I got comfortable is because I, I was confident in what I was doing because I, I, I want to help people, you know, I want women to realize they can do more, they can be more, they can, they can achieve their goals, they can dream big, but start small, you know, so mm. that's what really got me comfortable, really, because I, I knew that I wanted to help people, I knew that I had been through what some of my clients have been through, and I want to get them to where they want to be. 
And that's kind of where I found my confidence because I know what I'm talking about. And if I don't, I'm very honest with my clients. Like, I'll be like, I don't know that. Like, for now, right now, I'm doing a marketing um, um, seminar um, course and I'm going through marketing. Marketing is not my strongest suit. So it's something that I'm building up in terms of credibility. So that then I can offer as a, you know, program or a suite for my clients. But I'm very honest with my clients that marketing isn't, you know, I'm not a marketing guru. I have a solicitor, you know, background in, in, in law. Um, I've got background in entrepreneur and investment. Marketing is something that I'm new to. I've been doing it for the last probably six to seven months. So I'm getting to grips with what it is. They know exactly where I am with marketing. And the good thing about coaching is I help them to get to, you know, from where they are to where they want to be. So it's never necessarily about getting them to where I'm trying to get them to. The idea is mm -hmm. they're just a few steps behind me. All I'm doing is helping them fill that gap if that makes sense yeah. and so what I'm learning from my courses that I'm paying for my clients are actually benefit benefiting from it at the same time so it's mm. all about getting comfortable with what you're doing being honest about it as well do you know what I mean because that's what gets me comfortable I, I don't you know stretch the truth I don't you know oversell what it is that I'm trying to do and that's what gets me comfortable essentially wow so just, yeah, investing in yourself, <laughs> yeah. you know, so that you can be able to pour out into others, which makes exactly. sense. Yeah. And I just love how you're just real. This is who you are yeah. and you're going to let them know who you are. And exactly. that's it. That's it. Exactly. And like, that's the same thing I love about your, your page as well. You are so real. Like you can tell that you are purpose led, you know, you love God. And I love that. And a lot of people, you don't see that authenticity, you know, they think authenticity is being able to show up without makeup or, you know, mm. showing behind the scenes. And a part of it is, but it's also your personality. Like, you know, just be real. Like there are things that are so far stretched that I would say sometimes to my clients, they're like, oh, shame. You know, I'm like, yeah, but the reason you vibe with me is because of our values, our values match. And if they don't, you wouldn't be my client in the first place. And that's one, one important thing about working with a coach. You've got to make sure your values match up. And the way you do it is by being real. And the more real you are, the more people see your values. And they're like, actually, I want to, ah, I want to work with her. She kind of gets where I'm coming from because you're not really for everybody. You know, that's just exactly. the way the world is. <laughs> exactly. And, um, and that's a good point. You said you're not really for everyone. How, how did you come to terms with that? You know, because sometimes people are like, I want to help everyone. Or it's wow. just like, I feel like once you realize that you've struck gold. So how yeah. did you come to that realization? Well, it's, it's been a journey. My husband will tell you it has been a journey because I, there are nights or days that I've just been like, babe, like, like who is this for? Like, I don't understand. Who is this for? Like, in our industry, we call it niching down. And a lot of people are very scared to niche down because they feel like they're mm -hmm. going to limit themselves. But actually, when you niche down, you blow up because you know exactly who it is that you're trying to serve and why you're trying to serve them. And the way I kind of came about that is I kind of looked at myself because I'm kind of trying to coach a version of me a few years ago. And that's kind of how yeah. I found out who I wanted to, to coach. And like you said, about women and just being me. And I realized as seasons change, because now I'm a mom, I wasn't a mom a few years ago, but now I'm a mom, that gives me a different you know, element as well. So it's not just women, it could be mothers as well, professional women, because I work as well. So it's, you know, it's just the different aspects of me. And that's how I kind of know who it is that I'm led to, to serve essentially. So like different aspects of my life to make like a, a whole, a whole me. Which kind of sort of seems that, yeah, yeah. It sounds weird, but it kind of makes sense at the same time. No, it does. It does. And it's, it's great that you begin with you and, and you're able to use your experiences to help others. And, you know, God has blessed you and you're blessing others through what you've learned. And so going off of the, the point that you're a mother, how do you balance having a family, your career, and all that you do. This is, a, do you have time? This is going to take a while. <laughs> take <laughs> a time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it, what's the it, it, it It's God because he literally is strength. He gives me the strength and the mindset to put on, to be like, you know what, okay, God, I don't know what today's, what's going to happen today. Ezra might not 
be in the mood to wake up and have you know his shower Leah might just decide to start PMSing despite the fact that she's only four thinking like she's got a period already um but I need strength today because I've got things I've got to do um and the one thing that helps as well is time management I am very big on time management I know exactly what I'm going to be doing when I'm going to be doing it and funny enough I leave time in you know in between for spontaneous you know spontaneous stuff as well that's how detailed I am like between 12 and 1 you're going to be spontaneous I don't know what you're going to do but you're going to be spontaneous um but it's time management. that is what keeps everything together apart from praying to God and asking for strength time management is key and really being realistic about my time like seriously you, you especially with kids you've got to understand your time isn't yours as much as you think it is like tonight you know I, I want to I chill for like five ten minutes my kids are going to want to chill for five ten minutes I'm gonna be like you know what I'm going to give them that time I'll have my time later so it's being realistic with your time management as well oh and one other thing as well which is actually key before I forget my husband hmm. he makes everything so much more easier support so if you don't have a husband, you don't have a partner, your family, your friends, the support that you have, he makes it so much more easier. He's so understanding. I'm like, babe, can you get the kids ready today? You know, but it's weird because we have this idea of men having to babysit their children. And it's like, no, he's not, mm. he's not babysitting his children. So for me to be like, babe, you know, can you take, you know, can you give them a bath this morning? It's not necessarily me telling him to do something outside his fatherly duties. He already thinks, okay, she's she's knackered, she's tired, she's asking me to do it because she she's too tired to do it. So it's not like she's asking me to do something outside of what you're asking me to do it. I mean, you're the mom. No, it's like okay, she's knackered. I'm gonna give her that time. So he definitely plays a massive role in kind of making everything work. Yes, that's a great point because you had you have a supportive spouse or if someone who doesn't have a spouse just yet, but just having that support network to be able to tap into (laughs) because no woman or man is an island, you know? (laughs) (laughs) And so how do you stay motivated as a business coach? Um, Well, the the wins for my client, for one, you know, the fact that I'm helping them and they're actually achieving their goals, the fact that, you know, we talked about something and they're like, Shay, I actually did that today. I didn't realize that that would actually make any difference. I'm like, excellent. So that keeps me motivated. The fact that I get feedback from my clients and their results, that keeps me motivated. Looking at my kids, I know it sounds cliche as a mom. It sounds cliche, but it's so true. Looking at my kids keep me motivated because I'm like, I'm building this legacy for you. As much as I'm doing it for me and I love what I do, I'm building all of this for you. Looking at them keeps me motivated. You know, getting my client results keeps me motivated. And the fact that I love what I do, I love serving people. I love helping women think outside their own mind and think that, wow, I can actually do this because I've been there and I know how amazing that feeling is and I just think like mm. I want to do that for her I want to do that for her I want to do that for her <laughs> um, but you know, that kind of keeps me motivated really um I mean there are bits and bobs throughout my day but those are the essential essentially those three things kind of keep me I can kind of look back on that look at my why you know those are my whys and I and that keeps me going definitely that's good and so um throughout your journey what are some of the challenges you've had to overcome? Definitely my limiting self belief So like I said, I think I touched on this a, a, a while yeah. ago, which is, you know, that mentality where you grow up with that idea of you just go to school to study. You're either going to be a lawyer, an engineer, or a doctor. You can't do anything else. And for me, it's getting over that belief that I could actually do this. I mean, I saw my counterparts do it, and I'm like, how? Like, we, we look the same, we're all from the same place. How can you do that? I mean, what, what makes it me and you different? And it's mm-hmm. like, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, that, that, that was my biggest challenge, seeing myself outside the box of this Nigerian girl that just came from Nigeria, has gone to uni, getting good grades, you know, is starting to be a lawyer, trying to be more. Like, mm give you 
the, the, the right to try to be more than the idea that you've built for yourself and the idea that society has led you to believe that that's all you can aim for. So, I mean, it continues to be a challenge. Something like I said, I keep working on because um, each person has their, their own you know, challenges. But that, has to, that, has, that was my biggest challenge, um, essentially getting out of that mindset and just really just know that I could do this. I could, you know, why not? What, what, what's stopping me, myself, essentially? Um, but yeah, that was, that was definitely my biggest challenge. That was the biggest one. Wow. It's true. It's like, they're probably like, oh, you're already successful. Why do more? Yes. Why not? <laughs> exactly. Like the amount of conversations I have with you, they're like, but you're a solicitor. I'm like, yeah. They're like, but you're a mom. I'm like, yeah. They're like, but you're, but you're married. I'm like, yeah. So like, where's the punchline? And it's like society has made it believe like you have to go to school, you get married, you get the job, you get the kids, and then you work on that job for the rest of your life. And that is supposed to make you happy. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. But what I find issue with is when society pushes that idea and makes you feel like that is the only option that you mm-hmm. have. Um, and, and yeah, that, that's one of the reasons, again, like I said, I'm motivated to help women do more, to know that they can be more, because I've been through it. And it's amazing for you when that aha moment feels and you're like, wait a minute, <laughs> I, 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 I can do more. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I hope I actually answered your question. I seem to like ramble on a little bit. A bit. No, it, this is great. <laughs> and so I, I mean, I, I read your posts and you drop a lot of gems. So can you like paint a picture? What does, what, what does it look like behind the scenes? Like when you're creating a post, can you just tell us a little bit about that? Good. Um, so what I would do is I really think about the pain points of my clients, what it is that they actually want. Why is it that they would go on social media? What kind of things are they looking for online? You know, why are they looking for these things? So it's all about solving solutions for my clients. And as much as I mean, don't get me wrong, it's all trial and error. If you look at my Instagram right now, I'm very much about, yes, you've got to have branding. And I do teach branding a little bit to, to, to some of my clients. So like I said, I just started marketing, so I kind of started to get the idea of branding. Mm. But as much as that, I'm very much about you need to test. You need to just trial and error because progression of a perfection. So I really look at the pinpoints. I look at trying to solve solutions for my clients. So I go into the mind of my clients and, okay, I am in my nine till five today and I'm feeling I had a really rubbish day and I'm tired of this. Like, I want to get out of this. What can I do to get out of this? I want to start my own business. I want to be my own boss. Okay, good. But I have no money. I mean, you need money to start a business and you need to have, you know, tech. You need to have. And it's like getting into the mind of my clients. Say, Actually, wait a minute. No, no, you don't. Let me show you why you don't. Let me show you how you don't. Let me show you the tips that you can actually take on board now to get you started so that's kind of like the process I try to go through when I try and create my post so it's about trying to solve a solution for my client by kind of going into their heads at different sort of seasons that they might be in and giving them that kind of so you know tips and hints and points and you know how to's that they need to actually then move them on from kind of where they're not really sure and they're battling that sort of limiting self-belief and that pain point to actually wait a minute let me try and implement what she said. Oh, I got a little, you know, a little solution from that. I got a little movement from that. Oh, okay. This is very valuable to me. So it's all about creating valuable content for my clients, essentially. And essentially my, my audience, really. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's the best thing, just putting yourself in yeah. their shoes. Like, what yeah. do you think they need to hear? And um, yeah. And so how is it being a business coach coach during the pandemic it's it's been interesting actually because a lot of people are like you know no one's spending no one's doing anything I've signed about two three clients I'm about to sign my third client soon there are people out there spending there are people out there that have dreams and goals and they want to achieve it and although it's been difficult in the sense of because I still work my nine till five I still have the kids so in terms of logistics that's that's kind of what I found a bit more difficult trying to settle into that new routine of sort of having the kids at home half the time working my nine till five and not really having that break from okay I'm in the car now I'm driving home from work I can leave work behind I get home it's a different environment 
that has been the hardest part but the actual yeah. business coaching and doing that it's been amazing I've been able to get more content out there I've been able to speak to people more like I said I've got more clients and it's it's been amazing and it, like, especially during the pandemic there's so many people with questions now because they realize their nine to five is not secure hmm. enough you know they don't have control over it so the amount of questions that I get like Shay how do you do it what do I need to do how do I do this what do I do it's been amazing because I feel like now I'm really helping people and I'm like yes we can do it yeah. I mean, it's sad that we had to go through a global pandemic for there to be kind of like that rush but you know it's, it's amazing because I'm helping so many people it's, it's amazing wow that's true if, if, like everyone has more time and we're just yeah. kind of like or yeah and so it's just kind of like I want I need to do something and you're here to help you know to help them to push them forward you know in the right direction yeah. and so as you're doing this how does faith play a role I know you mentioned you know about God but how does faith play a role in what you're doing oh plays a massive massive role without god none of this is possible like i said not only is it strength but it's guidance as well and as much as a lot of people talk about you know purpose and stepping into my purpose i really had to take like i said i work on myself a lot and i'm still working on myself and i'm taking a step back and really think about what is my purpose what it is that i'm trying to do and i know that god has spoken through a lot of my pastors a lot of my friends to tell me that you know what you're here to help people you're, you're here to help women essentially you know I've had I've mm. heard words I've heard words of wisdom words of advice actually I feel like you're led to do this that's what a lot of people tell me like when they see my my content they see my post when I talk to people they're like you're led to do this you know and I'm like you know what I'm going to take that because that's from God and it takes a lot of faith for you to believe in something that isn't there yet because don't forget when I started this earlier this year I had my nine till five. I had my business. I had my investments. I was, I was okay. I mean, I've got other businesses apart from this that I run that are successful. You know, I've got my drop shipping business. I've got my property management business. You know, I've got an energy switching business with my, like there's, there's quite a few. So it's not like I needed an, another venture, but mm. it literally was shady. I feel like you're led to do this. I feel like, you know, and it's like me really being aware and paying attention to what people are saying and then taking it to God and be like, God, what is it that you want me to do? And you know, God isn't going to be like, Shay, I want you. That's why I always go deep voice when I'm, when I'm trying to mimic God. Um, but you know, you know, God doesn't you know, speak like that to you. So it's really listening to the cues in my prayer time and trying to be quiet and really listen to the cues in the people around me, you know, my, my circle of friends and listening to what they say, listen to my pastors and just really trying to, you know, get that information, get that confirmation. I mean, the confirmation that, okay, this is it. This is how God is leading me to do, to do this. Um, so yeah, that, that, yeah, that, I hope that kind of answers your question. Sorry, when yeah. I, I get kind of passionate about these things, I'm just like, yeah, the whole world's gonna see this, gonna see this too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, it, it, well. And so I wanted to know, so for someone that's watching, that's interested in launching their business, do you have a webinar or something that they can, Yes, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned that. I literally just released um, a free webinar on the seven steps that you need to confidently launch your online business. Um, I'll send you the link so you can put it um, with the link to the video, but they need to go and check this out. These are the fundamentals because one thing I've learned in the last few years in business is as much as there are marketing gurus and there are people that are teaching you how to you know do seo search engine optimization and how to sell on instagram sell on facebook yeah. i found that there is a gap of people actually teaching the fundamentals of business how do you actually take your idea and yes. build it as a business not just the marketing marketing plays a massive role don't get me wrong but what about the business finance what about the accounting and record keeping? What about mm. goal setting, time management? You know, yeah. what about all of that? And there is a gap in that fundamental so that you know that your business is built on solid foundation. And that's what my free webinar basically teaches. And I actually have a program as well, a paid program that actually goes into more depth about how to really confidently build that business from start to finish. So yeah, I'll, I'll send you that link so that everybody obviously that's watching this can get started and hopefully get motivated that yes, you can do it. Definitely. Yeah, I saw that and I was just like, I saved it. I'm like, I need to, <laughs> to check it out. And um, and so, wow, this was really, 
packed with so much great information. And I wanted to know, do you have any advice for someone that wants to launch their business this year? Or at least start it. Just Mm. do it. Don't second guess yourself. Stop second guessing yourself. Stop doubting yourself. There is a lot of information out there about how you can start a business. So a lot of the things that I say, a lot of people, what people say, you already know. Just start. Progress over perfection. Better you do it and you make the mistakes then you don't do it at all. Don't live a life of regrets. Just start. And if you need to speak to somebody about what's going on in your head, speak to me, speak to friends, family, but just start. Do it. Just do it. It will be the best decision of your life. Completely. Definitely. And so um, if someone wants to speak to you, how can they reach you? So um, they can get through Instagram. I've got a Facebook group. I've got two. I've got my Facebook page and my Facebook group. You can get through me, like I said, with Instagram. I've got Voxer as well, but Voxer is mostly for my one-to-one clients so that they've got more direct access to me, essentially. But please do get in touch with me with, in, through Instagram. Instagram is definitely the best way and the fastest way to get through to me. Awesome. So I'll definitely link your Instagram um, handle in the description below. And so do you have like any last words for people that are watching? I mean, it's scary um, being in a place where you you're trying to start something and you have no clue whether it's going to be successful, whether it's going to be profitable. But don't forget success and profit. It's 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 down to you. My measure of success and my measure of profitability is different from yours. And it's going to be different from other people. Don't look out to get acknowledgement for what it is that you're trying to build from within. You just do what you're doing. Work on yourself and just start. Stop. You are your biggest obstacle. Not Jane, not Mary, not Jack, not your work, not your boss. You are your biggest obstacle. And once you understand and you accept that, believe me you can move forward yeah thank you yeah I really love the points that you talked about the limiting beliefs and really starting with you and you know addressing those internal battles and those things that are going on in the mind too because sometimes we just feel like oh I can't do it but what's really the difference between you and that person it's the courage to start to begin you know and just running with it Exactly. You're going to make mistakes, but make mistakes and learn from it. That's it. Exactly. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Shayi. This was such a great session. And can I just say, you are amazing for doing this. And I love your page. Your food is going to get me fat in 2021. Thank you. Um, And no thanks. (laughs) But no, I love your page. I love your encouraging messages. Seriously, whenever I feel it like down, I just go to your page. It's like, Okay. Um, Thanks, Queen. Thanks. You hit you hit the spot with that one. So God bless you for your work as well, Queen. Seriously, thank you. Oh, I thank God. Thank you so much for your time. And thank yeah, I just love me. all I love all your content too. Your reels. I'm like, okay, she's just. <laughs> I was like, she's so funny. <laughs> Oh, you have to have fun with life. You know, not everything can be so serious. You know, you got to have fun with it. You only have one life, you know. After that, we go on to heaven to God. And I like to think God has a a sense of humor. So, you know, he's built us. We're wonderfully made. You know, so have fun with it, you know. It's so true. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my gosh. But Okay, so I'm going to round this up then. Um, thank you so much, Shay E. Thank, thank you, you for having all. me. Yes, and thank you all so much for watching. I'm so excited, and I pray you all are blessed by Amen. this session because I truly was, I truly am blessed by it. And Amen. if you are new to my channel, definitely subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss out on the next episode of Living with Purpose. Until next time, God's blessings always. Take care, everyone.